next we will see fiber bracket creating and circulator so we'll study circulators and fvg so i have to choose fvg and circulator so i got the list of this sources so i can choose it from here so first i will show you the circulator circulator first i uh, will make sure that my signal is coming so i will take 15 let's say i take 15 15 nanometer 15 kilohertz signal duty cycle 50% 50% and the laser power suppose that i put it 100 okay if i start so i am getting channel 1 signal at channel 1 so because i am giving from source to directly to photo detector so i will stop it now i will connect this source to port 1 of coupler port 1 of coupler so i will take another cable so i will see what is the signal at port 2 so at circulator the this signal should come at this port so if i am giving signal at port 1 so it should go at port 2 this is circulator so i will check from port 2 to, to photo detector so i am getting getting the signal so that means the ref, uh, signal is reflected from port 2 port 3 now let's check what is signal at port 3 so there will be no signal a little bit of so that doesn't matter okay now i will stop it again now let's connect this input signal to port 2 so from port 2 so it should come at port 3 so i port 3 i have connected the cable to our uh, our photo detector so it's coming okay so from port 1 it goes to from port uh, from port 1 to port 2 and if i connect uh, signal at port 2 so it will come at port 3 this is circulator okay now let's see uh, what happens if i connect this signal to fiber bracket creating section fvg section so i will stop it oh, sorry it is stopped so i am taking 15 50 nanometer i have taken 15 50 nanometer light so this fiber bracket creating has been tuned to work at 15 50 nanometer it will reflect 15 50 nanometer light and it will let all other uh, wavelengths pass through it so i am taking 15 50 nanometer i am connecting to port 1 i can connect port 2 also and I can take output from port 1 either of the port and i am uh, so i want to see what is the signal at port 2 so 15 50 nanometer light so let's not directly connect it to the port one because this will be reflected back so it can harm my source so what will what i will do i will take this 15 50 nanometer to circulator and from circulator i'm i'm getting the same signal here at port 2 so from circulator this is my same signal this signal from circulator to port 2 so this is 1550 1550 nanometer so i will connect it here so i am taken 1550 nanometer light i have given it to the circulator and the same signal has been Uh, pass to port 2 from port 
the 15-15 nanometer signal goes to FBG. Now I will start. So this is suppressed 15-15 nanometer signal. So ideally it should be a straight line, no signal should go but some of the signals is going still it is stopping 15-15 nanometer light 15-15 nanometer light now suppose I connect 15-10 nanometer light so it should pass through it so let's uh, let's see I will stop it so I will choose now 15-10 and I will deselect 15-50 okay deselect 15-50 I will increase it increasing to 100% power duty cycle 50% and this I will take output from this laser source this is 15 10 nanometer 15 10 nanometer so I am giving 15 10 nanometer to circulator so from circulator port, port 1 it goes to port 2 the same signal same signal goes to FBG so it should pass through it it should be passed through it because it is 15 10 nanometer so let's start so see the signal has been passed signal has been passed through this FBG it will not get reflected okay why because this is tuned to work at 15-15 nanometer one more thing I want to show you that let's take again this 15-15 nanometer light and deselect 15-10 nanometer so 15-15 nanometer light so I will take 15-15 nanometer light so 15-15 nanometer light goes to port 1 then it goes to port 2 because it is circulator from port 2 it goes to FBG and FBG reflects it so I have shown that you are not getting the signal here very less signal here you are getting suppressed so let's take another cable and connect it to connect it to port 3 of circulator port 3 of circulator let's see what is at port 3 of circulator okay so I'm taking this so I want to see what is at port 3 so I'm getting the signal that 15 15 nanometer signal so though it is some deformed but I am get, getting the whole amplitude so what is happening so signal is coming from this laser source and it goes to port 2 of the, uh, port 1 of the circulator then it, it is passed to port 2 then from port 2 from port 2 it goes to fiber brax grating but fiber brax grating reflects it 15 15 nanometer light so it reflects it back so signal is reflected back and comes to at port 2 of the circulator and if it is reflected back and comes to port 2 then from circulator any signal that is coming to port 2 it will get reflected at port 3 so the same signal is reflected back is made input for, for port 2 so from port 2 to it goes to port 3 so now I am now I'm seeing what is at port 3 the same signal is at port 3 ok from here to here reflected back here and it goes to FBG from FBG it is reflected back it works at input to port 2 from port 2 to port 3 so I am getting the power at port 3 so this is the work of fiber bracks grating and circulator 